Hey guys, how are y'all doing this good Friday evening? What is going on? All right, guess what we're having today? I haven't done this on the show yet. We are going to have fried fish, some big bone fried buffalo and a few catfish steaks. And you can't have fried fish down here in the South without some spaghetti. So we're gonna have some spaghetti as well. My homemade sauce, you guys have seen me do that before and a nice little side salad, okay? So, you know what we're gonna do? Play this intro and start cooking. Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Yes, I am back with another video. Okay, y'all. <laughs> we're going to get started on the sauce for the spaghetti. So I have four cloves of garlic chopped up, uh, onion, and a half of a bell pepper chopped up. And I have uh, some butter in the pot over there melting. We're gonna get this started, let these saute for a little bit. Then we're gonna add the beef and season it up with all of the seasonings. And I will bring you guys back when I'm uh, about to do that, okay? So I'll bring you guys back once I'm ready to season the meat, okay? All right, I'm back. So the onions and bell pepper. I'm gonna add a little more butter to that. Let's put a little butter in it. And add my garlic and then I'm going to start seasoning this meat and let it cook then we'll get ready to prepare our sauce okay go and I'm just going to eyeball this probably a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper to make it a little spicy you don't have to do that some steak seasoning about a teaspoon of steak seasoning this has the salt and everything in it black pepper teaspoon of onion and garlic powder each and you can measure it out if you like that I'm going to eyeball it like I said okay all right we're going to add a little basil about a half a teaspoon of that okay a little Italian seasoning half a teaspoon of that all of this is going to give your spaghetti sauce a real good flavor some parsley, of course. A teaspoon of paprika. And some black pepper. About a teaspoon of black pepper. And of course, you know it. Saison. Saison, saison. Me and my friend Michael was having a conversation about that today. He says Sasson, I says Saison. <laughs> so I'm going to put a whole pack and a, the rest of this, I have a pack already open. It's about half of it left, so a pack and a half of that. It'll give it a nice red color and flavor. So now, I just want to let this cook together with these bell peppers, onion, and garlic. And get nice and done, pretty much. Uh, I drain all of the fat off and then we will get ready to put our sauce together okay and in the meantime I'll go ahead and get the spaghetti on boiling in a pot of salted water all right I'll bring you guys back once the meat is almost done okay okay I'm gonna add a can of fresh tomatoes I'm using red gold I don't know if you guys can see it and red gold crushed tomatoes. And I'll put some water in that. I'm going to add some tomato paste. It's the can that's in a tube. Not a lot, just a little bit to help thicken it up. I don't need a lot. Just a little bit. I'm using Hunt's tomato sauce. Okay. Then I'll just eyeball it and maybe add some more tomato paste. But I don't want it to be real runny. I want it to be nice and thick and add a little more this sauce. I'm going to have a nice, thick, good sauce. Now, tomatoes are sort of bitter, so you want to add a, not a lot of sugar, about a half a teaspoon of sugar, okay? Not a lot. Just enough to help with that bitterness. So no, the spaghetti will not be sweet. It's just going to take away the bitterness, okay? Let it simmer down, add a little water, and We'll come back and get started on the fish, okay? All right, 
right, let's get our fish season. Just make sure your hands are clean. I don't have any gloves. So this is big bone buffalo. Okay, and then I have a few catfish steaks. But I prefer big bone buffalo, but I went ahead and got a few catfish steaks. But get your buffalo cut like this, big bone, and you will not have any problems with bones, okay? Yellow cornmeal. I'm gonna add just a little black pepper to this right here. Cornmeal as well. A little steak seasoning in it. Okay. And I'm going to put a little bit of this saison in there. Just a dab. All right. Let's season our fish. Put the rest of this saison on the fish. It's gonna give it a nice color. Black pepper. And you can season your fish however you want. This is just what I'm putting on my fish, okay? I like my fish a little spicy, so cayenne pepper. And I'm putting a little extra on there because I like my fish spicy, okay? And I'm going to put a little parsley on it as well. You don't have to put parsley on your fish if you don't want to. But I'm putting about a half a teaspoon, a little half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And the same for onion powder. Because it's only a couple of pieces. And then a little paprika. All right. And you just want to get all of the seasonings into the fish. And let's put it into our have the grease over here on 375, nice and hot, in my little deep fryer. So you just want to shake this up. Okay. Shaking it up real good. All right. Now we're going to get ready to put it in the oil, okay? I want to add a little more black pepper down up in there. You don't have to do this, of course, and a little parsley. I just like for mine to have a lot of seasoning and a little steaks. It's not gonna be too salty. I didn't put that much. Shake it up a little bit more. All right, now we're going to drop it in the grease, okay? Okay, let's put this fish in the grease. All right, shake it. Put a few in here and I'll drop them. I might be able to put all of them in here, to be honest with you. Okay, we'll go ahead and lower it in the grease. All right, I'll save these two for last. All right, I'm gonna fry this fish up, guys, and when I come back, we'll be ready to eat, okay? What's up, everybody? How are you guys doing? Good Friday evening to you all. What is going on? How are you all doing? All right, as you know, we are having spaghetti with the homemade sauce fried fish, buffalo, and uh, catfish steaks, and a nice little salad with all the sides. Let's bless the food. Bless this food that I'm about to receive for the nourishment of my body. Amen. All right, guys. I am back at home. I had fun working on location yesterday, but you know what? I'm back at home with you guys. You have me all to yourself. All right. Look at this. Fried big bone buffalo and spaghetti homemade sauce. Mm -hmm. A nice little side salad, ranch dressing, cucumbers and tomatoes. You have your hot sauce, ketchup, mustard, onions, and pickles. This is all optional. You don't have to have all of these if you don't want. And we have us a beverage. It's Friday night, okay? Are you ready for the weekend? You have to be because it is here and it's starting to cool down a little bit. Okay, let's get into this delicious food we have here. What do I want to start with? You know what? I'm going to taste the spaghetti first. If I can get me some of this on here. Get some of this sauce on here. Not a lot of sauce on there, is it? Let me add some more sauce to it. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. That spaghetti is good. Yes, it is. And this salad. Nice little salad. 
it's gonna go good with this fish. Mm. Mm-hmm. Nice and fresh. And like I said, down south you just have to have have you some spaghetti and fish together. All right, look at this buffalo, guys. Look how pretty it is. Isn't that fried nice and golden brown and pretty? That Saison gives it that little redness. And here's your catfish steak. Look at that. Mm-hmm. All right, let me break into this fish. I like to dip mine's. Now, you can eat your fish any kind of way you want, of course, but I just like to dip mine's in a little bit of everything. Oh, I forgot my hot sauce. And I didn't do any tartar sauce. I'm not a big fan of it. I don't have to have tartar sauce. So, hey. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm hmm It is seasoned so good. I mean, look at that color. Look at that color. Y'all saw all the seasons I put on it. See, when you have it cut like this, the bones are big and you can see them much better. Okay? And I don't have any bread because I have the spaghetti and the salad, but, you know, you could always have you some bread on the side if you like. <laughs> of course, you know my brother, Big Lou, he's stuck on garlic toast. He said I should have had some garlic toast. <laughs> this is really good. So, how was your Friday? Did you all work today? I worked until after five. Mmm, look at that nice salad. Nice and fresh. This is good. So, guys, how are you all? You know, I had a good day today. And, mm, let me eat this. You know, sometimes no matter how hard you try to be nice and good, folks just won't let you be. And that's all I'm going to say on that. Cheers. Oh, that's good. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So, what are your plans for the weekend? Any football tonight? You have someone playing in high school football? I put my time in with that, guys. Whew, did I ever. Hey, let me do this. Give me a pickle, all of it together. Mm-hmm. Mm. That is really good. So have you all ever had buffalo? A lot of people haven't really eaten buffalo. They think it's just too many bones, so they've really never tried it. But it's really the fish of choice for me. Like I said, you just have to get it cut right. Season it up real good. I had some fresh grease and Aunt Jemima yellow cornmeal. And, mm. Okay. Let's try our catfish steak. Do it like this. Mm -hmm. It's good, but I, I just prefer the buffalo. Yeah, but it's okay. A lot of people pay. That's all they eat is catfish. Catfish for fillets, of course. Mm. Mm hmm. That spaghetti sauce is seasoned. God, it is really good. But like I said earlier, you don't have to put all of that seasoning in it if you don't want to. So I am moving on up. Mm. Trying to come up with some more ideas on other things to cook 
and how I can promote my channel to keep getting my subscribers to rise. So, you know, you guys, give me some ideas. Let me know. If you have any ideas, please share them with me. A little ketchup on your hot sauce on here. Ketchup, mustard. I just want to do it all at the same time. I stack it. <laughs> Mm -mm. Oh, this is good. I'm not doing a lot of talking, am I? Mm. Mm -hmm. Again, in case y'all missed it earlier, look at that. See how pretty that is? That's that Saison. You put that on there? I'm telling you, if you're frying some foods, so use that. It does wonders. And you don't have to be frying foods either, but it really does good with frying food. Mm. This is good. Mm. I may not cook anything tomorrow, but probably be back on Sunday cooking for you. But please, if you have any ideas or suggestions, Leave them in the comments, okay? Do that for me. Mm. Is this your first time visiting my channel? Thank you for stopping by. Now, like, comment, and subscribe. Press that red subscribe button. And after you do that, press it again, and then tap on the bell and turn on your notifications, okay? So whenever I drop a video, you will be one of the first to know. And you can catch me while the food is still hot. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. See, that's what I'm talking about. See that long, that bone? You get it cut like that, they have that, just that one little bone. One or two. But you just pick the meat off the bone. But it's, see that? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's normally two or three of them, but you can just do it like this here and not worry about all those little bitty bones. That's why a lot of people don't like to eat buffalo. They think it's too many bones. Mm-hmm. Really good. This salad is good, too. It's fresh cucumbers I cut up. And I just bought a little package of um, pre-mixed salad mix, the small one. Cut up some cucumbers and tomatoes. Mm-hmm. Delicious, guys. Perfect meal for a Friday night. A little fried fish. I said, you know, I haven't fried any fish on this channel. Let me do that. Mm. Mm. And I like my fish fried crunchy. Kind of hard. How do you like yours? Some people like soft, like their fish fried soft. Not me. Nope. It's got to be crunchy. See those sula bones? Not a lot of bones. Not a lot of bones at all. Mm. Guys, I'm getting full. Yes, I am. Well, Thank you guys for joining me this Friday evening. I hope you try this buffalo. Get you some big bone buffalo because it is definitely good. I think you'll like it. And make you some spaghetti to go with it. You're in the South, all right? And a nice little salad. All right, guys. Again, thank you for joining me. And remember, everyone's welcome in Philly Phil's Kitchen. Good night. <laughs>